Thanks for joining me again. It's cold, it's winter. Got the three series. We've got battery warning information, lights coming on. Um, yeah, it's not starting very well. It's a bit slow when you press the button. It's not giving it too much. So what we're gonna do is change the battery. I'll show you how we're gonna test it a little bit first and then we'll get on to swapping it over. It's gonna be a nice quick job. The battery straight from Amazon, unbelievably, got delivered in two days, two days delivery from Amazon and it was cheaper than Euro parts and everything. You can't believe it. But anyway, let's crack on get the battery changed. So to change the battery, we've got to get into the boot. And it's located underneath this panel here. So um, we'll have the, the base out first. Then we've got a couple of little tabs to unscrew to lift that up. really tight it's got a lot of gubbins on top of it we've got this sort of fuse control panel here and a bracket across the top so we're going to take the bracket off and then this doesn't well it's not as bad as it looks to be fair now we can test this battery out if we're not sure that it's failed if the if the car's sounding really slow and sluggish and you've got the little warning light on it's pretty much a dead cert that it's going to be a battery problem that as long as the alternator's charging we're looking for 13.8 volts when the car's running I've got a little battery tester here, which I have done on this, this car before. I did it in the video when I did the, um, tested out this check, this battery tester. Um, so we just need to get a positive, a positive terminal down here. We can do this at the front of the car as well. So just showing that there, the battery is absolutely spanned. It's um, 290 amps, that's really bad. Um, the voltage is good, 12.1. Uh, yeah, it's just knackered, it's had it. So, let's get this battery swapped out. First thing I'm gonna do is just take off this bracket at the top. We've got two, two screws there, two bolts. One there, and one over here. those out of the way and then the bracket lifts off the top now I've fitted a battery maintainer to this uh, so I've got an extra nut on the top here so I'm just going to take those off to start with this was just to my little plug here to make it easier to charge the car if I was leaving it for long periods One of those on both sides, one on the positive, one on the negative. So that's them out of the way. Now I'm going to, uh, I've got these two bolts here to crack off, but not just yet. What I like to do with these, if I'm taking them off, is to put a power source at the front of the car. We've got the secondary points at the front. To keep the car still alive and not to lose any memories or upset any ECUs, I like to put a little booster pack just at the, at the front of the car to feed it, to keep everything alive. I know it means that these, these points down here are live when we're messing about, but just got to be careful not to touch them on the side of the car altogether. It's very unlikely you're going to do that, but it will save you any problems in having to reset stuff inside the car. Or sometimes with these, if you disconnect the battery, you can corrupt the ECUs on the body control module and have windows and stuff going in, all crazy things happening. So let's just pop a power feed at the front just to make sure that everything stays as it should do. So just pop the bonnet up and we've got our little red thing there we pull that off the top that's just positive i've got me my jump pack here so i should pop positive onto there negative to the body 
There's the point there. We'll turn it on. That's going to feed us, can keep it all nice. So we've got no problems when we disconnect the battery. So down inside here, we've got one little bolt there to undo. We've got one little bolt there. Now we aren't taking these off. We're just, we're just loosening them off. Once they're off, we're going to pop that out. Same with that side. And that will release this from the top, make it loose. Once that's off, that whole thing will come away from the top of the battery. And we've also got down there at the bottom a little 10 mil Ten millimeter bolt holding a, a battery retaining bracket in which we've got to get out on the end there there's a pipe that's just pushed into the end of the battery that's for venting out any fumes another really good thing to look at to see how old your battery is on the top of this negative post see that 3710 that's week 37 in 2010 that's when the battery was manufactured so it's uh yeah it's 13 years old done well so to release these clips on the top you pop a screwdriver down there and just pull the tab and then the metal thing becomes loose on the top and see how that's now free from the top of the battery if you do the same with this side this one's a bit harder to get at but just release it i'm going to get this bracket off down the back here like i say it's quite a deep one so i can't really show you it on the camera Straight once it's out, what I've got is a 10 millimeter magnetic socket there, so the bolt will stick to it. If we just get that down and I've run this at normal speed because it, it just shows it's a bit tricky to get at, and I'm fiddling and faffing about a bit trying to get on there. There it is, but we get there, we get there in the end and then just slowly work it, trying to twist it with my fingers to undo that bolt. It's not a tight bolt. Obviously the hardest bit is putting it back in again. Now once this bracket's out, or undone, we don't actually have to physically pull it right out. We can just leave it down there, loose. The battery will then come out. I think that's out. Yeah, that's free now. So then we've got to get the, just loosen that, that one off there. Same with this side, loosen that one off as well. Now these terminals should wiggle all loose. That one's loosey goosey. That's the negative is off. Right, and then the positive one again. We've got to make sure we got this bracket off here. These brackets are a bit fiddly. You kind of got to get your screwdriver. There's a little, there's a little U shape in it. You push it down and pull it out at the same time to release it. It just literally clips to the top of the battery, the lip. So you're just releasing it from that. It is a bit tricky though. It is a bit yeah, of a fiddly one. Um, this end's like... still attached, it's not completely come off yet. I've got to get my screwdriver in there again. One. Give it a good wiggle, come on. You can see this one nearest to us is still just know. caught on the top of the battery. Right. Yeah, I've got to get that one off again. That one's loose at the back, it's just this front one. In, push down and pull it out, there you go. And then twist it and that should come away. It's just a little bit sticky on that terminal. There we, there go. we go. That's that whole thing up there. Now we're going to need to give ourselves a bit of room here. So can we get enough room to get that out without having to disconnect any of those bits there? We shall see. So I'm thinking we're going to attempt to get that up, up there. Now this is a heavy battery, heavy, heavy as hell. 
Shut your moaning, eat your spinach and get it out. Come on. I don't know what you're messing about at. <laughs> Come on then, get it out. <laughs> Come on, you make yourself look a right fool here. <laughs> Come on, give it a good tug. That's getting in the way, isn't it? That's driving your driving your batter. <laughs> I think you might have to take that one off as well. Push the tab down and pop that one out. Definitely need just a little bit more room there. Push the tab down there. I'm gonna back one out. So take off this. That's going to get in the way. And just pop that out the out the side of the body. And a little bit more room. Like that. Right. Is that them enough? Such a big battery. It's massive. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> She's up. Uh. Ah, well, I've not checked this. This has come straight from Amazon, believe it or not. Delivered in the post. You can't believe what you can get off there, but the price is really good. So uh, let's see what we've got in here. Let's have a look, see if it is the right size and everything. Oh, perfect. Absolutely spot on. Let's try and get that on the old. Just got to make sure I've got everything out of the way. I'm having that bracket out, I'll go with that in a minute. We'll put that in. Just while we're in here, we've got the battery out. Just have a quick look, make sure there's no water in there. Um, this is as dry as a bone, which is good news. All the connections look look good. So I just need to get that negative out of the way so I'm not going to trap it when I put it in. Obviously I've got to lift that out of the way as we lower it in. It's a heavy beast, so it's going to do me back no good at all, but here we go. For me, I like to lean against this with my body saves you buckling over trying to get it in. So I'm kind of leaning in. I'm not just doing it this funny way because of the camera. It is a good way of lifting it in. All right, so that's all out of the way there. Let's slowly drop this in. Okay, also before you put it in, there's a vent plug there. This end has got a, got a blanker in it. This one's open, which is the way around where we want it like that. You can swap it round. But we've got a positive pointing that way. So far, so good. Let's get it in there. Here we go. Ah. Open it, clear it. Just make sure we've got no traps. Okay, now we can put the, the vent plug in. That's in there. Get that located. So it's in that end like that. So far, so good. Nothing's trapped that we don't need to. We can put that, clip that back in again. We'll get this negative terminal down. And pop that on. And the positive, drop that on as well. And then clip that down, just push it down, and it just clips itself in. We've then got this wire that we uh, took off that we disconnected. And feed that back under there. 
and pop that in as well. So that's all good. Now when we're putting these terminals back down again, you've got to make sure that you push Here's down. What I found. Who's talking to you? You've got to push down on this, give it a little wiggle, push down and then screw it up. Pass that one in and can clip that down. Oh no, because I'm going to put my charger back on again, so I won't clip that down just yet. We'll do the same with the back one. Just give it a wiggle and a push, and then do it up nice and tight. There we go. The bracket of doom. We've got to get that down there. Now this is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky, but if you've got a magnet, then that's the way to go. And I've got me, I've got my little magnetic socket here. I'm going to swap that around. I'm going to put that onto there, and that will stick to that, so I can drop it down. Like I say, this ain't going to be easy. This is going to be a tricky one. Lower that down. Need a torch as well. So we see what we're doing. Love this torch. This is the Milwaukee M18, and it's uh, it's great. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I can see the old down there. I think we're in it there. Try and do that up now without cross threading it. Surprisingly, this has gone in quite quite easily. I found that hole. Pretty quick, that magnetic socket has worked like a dream. It's looking good. And I do love this gearless ratchet. It's got no teeth in it, it's dead silent, but it, it just works like a dream, it's lovely. There we go, that's in. I'm gonna reattach me, like I said, my little charging wires. Again, I've got a video on this um, this charger. This is your battery charger saver maintainer. It you know, depends how much you use the car. Sometimes I'll go and leave this one for three or four weeks, and it's nice to put it on a on a maintainer. And that other battery wasn't much cop, so uh, I probably won't be needing this. Now I've got a nice fresh battery in here. That's that one done. That's on that side. Okay, there we go. I can click that back down again. Right then. Now we've got this bracket here, which is going across. I'll cross those two points there. Which one's got this little bolt back in. There. Right now I can drop this. Just make sure that's clipping in there properly. There we go. So that wire is all back in again. That's all good. There's a little charging wire, sensor wire here. On the negative terminal, you've got like an amp meter on there, um, which is all to do with the stop start system. And that's what this little blue part connect, blue part, this blue connector is here. Okay, let's get the, uh, get this cover in here as well. Make sure they're out of the trap there. That just drops in first and then closes down there. Lock that into place. You see this little thing here, this green tab? If you're locking petrol flap jams up, you can give that a tug and that'll release it. It's like a manual release. Okay, once that's back down, again, we'll have this cover in here. Two tabs at the top that slide upwards. We'll get that in, into there. Slide that back into place and then you've got your 
little lockers there that we just twist into place. And we can just mat back in there. Like I say, make sure my little wires there nicely. And now that's all back in, we can release this without any worries at all. Top back down. That's all done, we can shut the boot. Happy days. Now the car will start, and sometimes everything works absolutely fine without doing a battery program. So if you haven't got the kit to do the, uh, the program of the battery to the car, then you can start and just carry on. It, it, it will work, but the stop-start system might not work correctly. If the specifications of the new battery are the same as the old one, then you shouldn't have any issues. But uh, let's get the key in. <laughs> Bingo, so it's up and running. That's a good start. So what I've got here is the Top Don Arti Diag 600 and I'm going to pr plug in now and just make sure that the new battery is programmed incorrectly. Let's give it a go. So we've got a little EO down there. We'll pop that out and plug the, uh, plug the tester in. Okay, so we're on this... Uh, Topped on, we'll go to battery reset. Okay, so turn ignition on. Okay. So what he's showing us now is what's fitted to the car. And it allows us to reprogram the car to say that it's had a new battery fitted. So we just check through the information on there, make sure that everything's what it should be. This stores into the car's ECU that it's had a new battery fitted. It sets the date and the mileage of when the new battery fitment was carried out. Job done. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Everything's working as it should. It's absolutely beautiful. New batteries in. The car's reliable again. <laughs> Bless the old girl. She's doing well. 167,000 miles. Um, if the video's been of use, drop me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.